Majesty! You have to flee! but I love the view. <laughs> you girls are coming with us. Attitude's all wrong. See, that's your weakness. You're so focused on one thing. You can't see the bigger picture. <laughs> <sighs> Including what's right behind you. Oh well, you're lost. No! Let go of me! Shut up, no one's gonna save you. Huh? Look, what is that? Guys, did I scare off your dates? That bracelet. Huh? Oh, this old thing? He's a bounty hunter! <laughs> now there's a prince on a white horse? I think we nabbed the wrong girls. That's no prince. That's a bounty hunter, too! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> into a tavern. You know you're losing those bounties while you're chasing me. Silence, dog. You dare talk to me about bounty hunting when you're the only reason I was forced into this wretched life to begin with. Right. Pin it all on me. Real mature. <laughs> Good stuff. Hey! Oh. Don't worry about yeah. your place, buddy. I'll take care of it. Brownie guy's bounty will cover the repairs. 
And my large tab. Are you serious? Always. It ain't good, boys. If we go back empty-handed after taking the horses out all day... Sir Garth will kill us! <laughs> me the compass is broken i can't find hillheim what's she talking about ah who cares this gift just fell in our laps yeah but i'm thinking she can fall into our laps first <laughs> <laughs> was in town this morning causing all kinds of trouble so i'm thinking you're gonna bring that damn bounty hunter to me I'll save you the trouble boys that damn bounty hunter just brought himself he thinks he's funny tear him apart Bastard! where'd he go look down one two three Not bad, Hunter. Shabbat huh? shalom. A summoning spell, huh? Well, in that case... After him! <laughs> what happened to... <coughs> I said what happened to your jokes of bravado now, bounty hunter? I don't know. Vlad, here's an even better question. Where did that big puddle come from? I don't remember it raining today, do you? Who the hell cares? Burn him to a crisp! <laughs> out here look dry, but I didn't have any water, so I gave him some alcohol instead. You bastard. So you knew about their skill, about their fire attack? Yep. Now here's some advice free of charge. Don't have a blabbermouth for a pet. <sighs> oh, damn you! Well, that's not very nice. It's not my fault you're clumsy. Seal so And that makes 20. Wow. I'm surprised. Hey, Bacchus! Wake up, you drunk! We've got a visitor! Huh? Get off my back, would you? Don't you know who you're talking to? Mm. Got a booze hounds, right? Maybe you should think about cutting back a little, Chief. It cannot be good for your health. <sighs> Always freaks me out how much bigger it is on the inside. Don't come barging in just to complain. Here you go. My prey of the day. All right, puffball head. 800 rupees. Would you stop calling me that? And why are you only giving me half the reward? Those posters said 1,600, and yes, I can read. Uh, hmm? Show your old human, don't you know? Are you gonna puke? Careful. It's a fancy couch. <laughs> are you kidding me? My policy to spend every rupee I make before the next morning is the only way to live. <laughs> so, let's drink the house down, girls. Don't expect to get any sleep tonight. You must be strong to capture them. Yeah, I guess. Today was a milestone for me. Mm. My 200th bounty. That's amazing. 
So, you must have faced all sorts of danger. I've battled things that would make a pretty lady like you cry. Mm. Exciting, right? I bet you've seen beautiful cities, too. Not as beautiful as the girls inside them. <laughs> girls like you? All you talk about is women. That's right. Women are the best gods and worst demons, too. I won't stop till I've drunk with them all. That's why I'm going back to Helheim. Where? Helheim, my next stop. Oh, is that a place? Well, yeah. Have you never heard of it? I've heard of it. Heard it's covered in snow and ice so cold it can freeze you where you stand. Yeah, that's right. It's not for the weak. That's if you can even survive the journey, of course. I can't tell you how many warriors and bounty hunters have lost their lives just trying to get there. Scary! It's really no problem for me, though. I'll get there fine. Because I know a special shortcut. A Helheim shortcut? That's perfect. Oh. Forgive me. Hmm. Unusual design. Are you a foreigner? Well, if you're lost, it would be my honor to show you around. Thanks, but there's no need. I've chosen my guide. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pal. Took you long enough. Ladies, meet Pomp Adorable. Did you find your horse? My name is Kaiser! Ah, I'll take that freak out as a no. Too bad. I hear he's a good horse. Yes. Marina Shuttleford Bird is a great horse. He was all that remained of my family fortune. Now you've robbed me of him too! <laughs> I'll kill you! Oh, relax, would ya? Life's too short for this grudge crap. Everyone, this guy's way more rich and loose with his coins than me. Cozy up to Barathead and you'll be drinking for free all night. What? Hey, hey cutie. You should come have a drink with us. I'm sorry, but I can't. Oh, just look at that strong chin. Oh, you must be a knight, I can tell. They're always the sexy ones. You ladies are far too kind. Ah! <gasps> can I play with your barrettes? <laughs> show us your sword. I get to sit in club first. Favaro! Honestly, that guy never gives up. He's really got to get himself a new hobby. Or a girl. Or a three. You there. What the hell, man? Give me some space! Can't you see I'm trying to piss? Hmm? Hold on. That is definitely not a guy. That's weird. Why are you dressed up like one, then? You just into that kind of thing? Not a deal breaker, though. So, huh. is it true that you know of a shortcut to Helheim? What? I heard you say that at the tavern. Oh, I get it. She heard me spinning one of my little stories, huh? Please tell me. I must get to Helheim. Do you know the way? I'm lost. Okay. How should I play this? Please. Keep Do making you know stuff the up. There? Or run for it. Are you listening to me? Or I could. Yeah, that's it. Oh, sure. I practically blazed the trail. But I can't tell you just because you asked. Nothing's free, dear. Then what do you want? That's a great question. What I want is pretty simple. It's love. Love? Yes. Romantic, right? Love from a beautiful girl. You want passion or kissy kiss? A kiss? From me? There you are. <laughs> what the hell, man? Things were just starting to get good. Seriously, Kaiser, you are a monumental pain in the... Uh, what? <laughs> Who are you? The next ghost. And you're gonna suffer for what you did my kid brother, Gus. Ghost. Kid brother, hang on. Oh, I get it. So that's why Bacchus only paid me half of the bounty. Listen, I don't have time for this. Just tell me the way to... <laughs> Hold your horses, honey. I gotta take care of some unfinished business here. And then we'll get back to that kiss. Fool! The only thing you'll be kissing is your ass goodbye! You're choking, right? You think you can scare me with that beauty thing? Your kid brother could summon way better than... Never mind! Tear him apart one limited time! You got some serious power there, bud. You should get work as a castle crusher. <laughs> Get 
killed! You can't be my guide if you're dead. Huh? Stay back and find some cover. I'll handle this. Mountain-sized demon looked tiny at first. It was a way dirtier trick in my book. So, you two come as a package? <laughs> oh, come on! I haven't done anything yet! This is where I realize I have a drinking problem. <laughs> Crazy dream. Oh, you're finally up. About time. Where am I? You're in the tavern's attic. Found you on the ground outside. Hauling you up here was no easy task, I'll have you know. Don't you remember? Uh. Oh. <laughs> I guess I had too much of that ale and blacked out. I had some weird dreams, too. <laughs> well, I ran a bath for you earlier. You should splash water on your face. Yeah, thanks. Maybe I'll watch the rest of me while I'm at it. <laughs> Not the reaction I usually get, but uh, <laughs> I'll take it. That's that's a tail. Wow, I, that, thanks, I guess. <laughs> demon? Huh? A demon? Where? Where? What the hell? No way. No way. No freaking way. It can't be. I'm dreaming. Yeah, it's a dream. Oh, I love crazy dreams. I'm the prince of all demons. Hello, demon princess. Care to dance? Since it's a dream, this won't hurt. Mm. <coughs> oh, ow! <gasps> this isn't a dream! <clears throat> oh. 
Okay, just chop it off and get back to your normal day! Well, that didn't work. Huh? Hey, I'm kind of busy here. You made a deal with me. Huh? You said if I kissed you, you would tell me about the shortcut to Helheim in exchange. <laughs> so, I cast a spell. A contract spell. So that's what this is? I'll live the spell once you tell me. <laughs> wow, it's stuffy in here, don't you think? That's the problem with addicts. I'm just gonna get some fresh air outside. It, yeah. Oh, crap, 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 any crap! I really screwed myself this time. Me and my big stupid mouth. I just gotta stay calm. I can figure this out. First, deal with the tail. And clothes might be good too. It's upstairs. It's a demon. I'm huh? telling you, I saw it. All right, I'm coming. Kaiser? Damn it, this is the worst possible time. So it looks human. <laughs> 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 Totally just broke something! I know it! Uh -huh. oh. Where are you going? Tell me about the shortcut. I can't just tell you, okay, lady? It's not that simple. Why not? Don't tell me you lied. <laughs> that is not what I'm saying. <laughs> just look in my eyes. Are these the eyes of a liar? <laughs> <laughs> It. Let's go. Just get on, quick. Where is it? Where is the vile demon? Her. Squishing me, Barrett head. Are you joking? No. That's not how you ride a horse. Barbaro, have you stooped to kidnapping young ladies now, too? Get all fit in here at once, are you stupid? Look, it's getting away. <laughs> Don't just stand here staring. Go kill You're it. You're a knight, aren't you? I've got to break this curse, or every idiot with a sword will come after me. Should I kill her? Right here and now? No, I'll wait for the perfect moment to strike. Okay, tell me the shortcut to Helheim now. Uh, I've got a better idea. I'll take you to Helheim myself. Make sure you get there all right. You do that? Of course, it's too complicated to explain anyway. Besides, this will be good. Trust me. How? How could he fool me all these years? A demon in disguise. I should have known. I should have slain him. It's the Olio Knights. They sued the royal capital. Why would they come to this little town? We've come to you on orders decreed by the exalted Saint Jean d'Arc herself. We are looking for a demon, a demon in human disguise. You there, knight! Uh, Have you seen anyone suspicious here? Forgive me, but I cannot say. What? I'm on my own quest for this demon. It's a quest for vengeance, sworn on my family name. However, I will bring this demon to you, after I've captured it myself. You have my oath as a knight. I will not fail. Liar! You're no knight! That's the bracelet of oh. a bounty hunter! I wear this now, yes, you're right. But I descend from the house of Lidford, a proud liar! <laughs> <laughs> You've got some nerve, commoner. What proud and noble knight would have a coin-chasing hunter for a son? Where's your pride now, knight? You're a damn disgrace! The demon who cursed me to this fate, this life of shame. Desperation is a powerful force. It can make a man stronger. Uh -huh. Don't ever forget that. I will re-establish our house, no matter what it takes. I will catch him with my own two hands. I swear it.
can't be the road to Helheim. Take it easy, sweets. It's gonna be a long and pricey trip. First, we need some funds. It's just bad taste. Turkey! Hello. It looks like we came to the right place, though. No. 2,000 rupees. Is this you? Are you a ram? Or a goat? I guess ram. What's the difference, right? <laughs> You better keep your distance. This guy's way stronger than he looks. So yesterday wasn't a dream. She's a full-on real-deal demon. And a freaking strong one, too. All right. It's time to go. Huh? Yeah. Trying to kill this girl might be a bad idea. At least, if she sees it coming. Okay, here's your reward. Uh, you took down a big one this time. You've impressed me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, uh... I know you stop staring at me like that. Don't I'm getting nervous. Try. You look tasty. Hands off, sweetie. That's Hamsa the talking duck. And he's Captain Drunkard's favorite pet. Eating him is not a man. Stupid, clueless human. How dare you? I'm not a duck or a pet. I'm a god. A god incarnate. Where are you going, puffball head? Gotta run. See you, Bacchus. Yeah, whatever. I Just ignore him. Myself. Hey, close the door. Damn human. Puffball heads keeping strange company these days. We've got to get you some new clothes. You smell like a sweaty bandit. Well, you smell like that ram. Oh, yeah, and whose fault is that, huh? Hmm. <laughs> uh... Uh... Huh. <laughs> in the cup. This? This is just a little wine. Oh, hey, hey! Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh, it tastes good. Wait, don't tell me this is the first time you've ever had wine. <laughs> and you've got some catching up to do. Hey! More drinks! Keep them coming! That's why I love this town. The drinks can't be beat. What are they doing? That's called dancing. The way they dance in this town can't be beat either. That's nice. Check out all those stars. Beautiful, huh? Mm, you're right. They are. Got 
gotcha. Now's my chance. If I kill her, I break the curse for sure. And it's good by tail. <laughs> what the? Of all the times to mess up. What's messed up? Uh, no, uh, nothing. Everything's fine. I just said it's messed up that we've spent all this time together and haven't introduced ourselves. My name's Favaro. Favaro Leone. And you are? I'm Amara. Ah, Amara. A beautiful name for a beautiful woman. Well, it beats the hell out of my mom's name. She got stuck with Bunyan. Bunyan? So, now that we're getting familiar, why do you want to go to Helheim anyway? It's an icy hellhole. Most people would choose any other town in the world, which would be fine by me, by the way, if you wanted to change our deal. Mm. Crap, that wasn't smooth. Did I make her suspicious? I have to reach Helheim. That's where my mother is. Your mother? She has one just like this, this pendant I made. When I hold it, I can see her just barely. A memory I've half forgotten. The gentle look on her face. My teacher told me I'd be with her again one day as long as I held on to this. So that's why, that's why I have to get to Helheim. I need to see her. Hmm. Teacher? Where to go? Now you're a kidnapper too. And you fooled me all these years. I should have known you were a demon. Huh? No, you got it all wrong, Kaiser. Silence, wretch! On my honor as a knight. I'll make you pay! Stop! <laughs> Cut me a deal. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Right from the capital, huh? People of Livion, we are on the hunt for a one-winged demon. A girl, have you seen her? We'd better keep moving. I think we should split up so we can cover more ground. Yes, sir. Two groups, men, half with me! We don't rest until that god key is found! Demon girl. God key? <sighs> Excuse me! Mm. I think I can help you with your demon hunt. No doubt about it now. She's the one. The miserable thief who stole the god key. Enchantment formation! Say goodbye, vile demon. All right, look at him go. Once those armored goody two-shoes take care of the demon girl for me, I'll be back to normal again. And the reward money's not bad either, huh? You get it. I have to reach Helheim. That's where I'll find my mother. Yeah, likely story. Like demons have moms. <laughs> not, not that way. Hey! Take him back, bro! Don't! Uh, 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 uh. Come down with it. What's wrong? 
The enchantment isn't working! <laughs> it's not enough! Increase the power! We can't! This is all we have! <laughs> Sneak out while I still can. What the? They didn't kill you? No, it just tangled. It tangled? Find her, men! Find the demon! Don't let her get away! Okay, whatever, just come with me. Bounty Hunter would have the nerve to scam royal knights. Now you will die. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you better not move. <laughs> I know, I'm surrounded, outnumbered, blah, blah, blah. But you don't want to risk losing your little treasure, right? That double-crossing liar! Liar? Hey, Amara, you with me? Because I say we take another dip in the water. Yeah. This is gonna be fun! You die now! Wait! Go I just risked my neck to save her life. If I'd stayed out of it, that damn curse would be broken. And I'd be rid of this freak show tale. He called you a liar. Are you? Are you a liar? <clears throat> Forget what he said. Just look into my eyes. Am I lying? <laughs> <sighs> you won't escape, Favaro. You won't. I refuse. Let that happen! Favaro! Curse you, Pazuzu. You're such a show-off. Yeah, we can't let him take all the credit this time. Down, girl. You stink like a dog. Uh, that's not very nice. You're lucky my little ones are out on a walk. You're lucky I let you indoors. It's my castle, you know. Jeez, you're uptight. You former angels always are. <laughs> Good news, our found a... Our... Yeah? Oh, that's great. Where? The town in Fog. It's called Nebelville, arf, arf! Really? Can we kill them now? Can we please? You seem to forget our orders, Cerberus. We need to find out who she's working for. Why don't we just capture her and cripple her? We can still have huh? some fun watching. Wait and see. Nebelville has one very interesting resident. Uh, there it is. Please have booze. Oh, is that hell, huh? No, it's not, damn it. Hellheim's that way. Way, 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 uh, that way, so stop asking me. Then let's hurry. Uh, no! Hold on! We're already running out of money. We need more. Let's see. Are any of these bounties local? <sighs> yeah, this'll do. Fine, then get up. Stop it! Let me finish! <sighs> uh, oh, man, what a job. 
It's gonna be a real pain in the ass. Or what? If only I would run into a gigantic monster while picking up a damn plant. <laughs> oh well. At least we got what we came for. It looks good, right? I prefer meat personally. This is not for eating. This is a rare herb. Our next target's a master of restorative arts. What's that mean? It's a type of sorcery, weird spells and stuff. So, we need to have antidotes ready just to be safe. Aren't we going to eat the monster? You're sick, you know that? Favaro! Oh, he did survive. Where am I? Your arm was broken. Oh, good. Look, honey, our young knight is awake. Are you feeling better now, sir? I'm sure it's confusing waking up like this. I'm a doctor here in Nebelville, and this is my beautiful wife. Over here is our daughter, Rita. I've just finished making dinner. We'd love for you to join us if you're up for it. Man, this concoction reeks. I just remember you got freaking wings. You could have saved me all the trouble and flown up to get this yourself. No, I couldn't have. There, you see? I lost one during the incident. Now I can't fly. Wait, what incident? The incident. <laughs> This is it. The sacred god key. <laughs> Hear me as I summon Linus Gabatha Or. God key, huh? Yeah. So that's what that royal tin can was talking about. We don't rest until that god key is found! You're telling me you flew up there and slipped past all those gods all by yourself? That's right. You don't believe me? I can't explain this, but it did happen. She infiltrated our sacred chambers. She walked upon holy ground. That should have been impossible for a demon. She broke the key's ancient and powerful seal by using the divine magic. But only a god could do that. Then she somehow got away despite all of the god's defenses. Okay, if you really did steal this thing, then prove it to me. Where are you keeping this fancy key? 
It's resting right here. There? Really? Let me see. Oh. The God Key is not a physical object. I took the key by absorbing its essence, its soul, into my own. Which means for all practical purposes. She has altered its very nature. I am the God Key now. We're just simple folk in this village. I'm sorry we can't offer you a fancier meal. This is perfect. I'm just grateful that you came to a total stranger's aid. I'm in your debt. I'm the one who brought you here. Well, dig in. And don't worry about being polite. Have as much as you like. Thanks, I will. Huh? Uh -huh. To tell you the truth, we were hoping we could ask you for a favor, too. Of course. We've been under attack. Horrible monsters have been terrorizing our village. Monsters? Trolls, or something like them. They live in the forest and come out every morning at dawn. They ravage our fields, eat our livestock, and take our children. Yes, Rita's the only child that survived. But if this keeps up... <laughs> I give my word. As a Lidford, I will repay this great kindness your family has shown me by slaying these monsters for you. What's wrong, Rita? You haven't touched your food. Food is a pretty generous word for this, Mother. I'm not eating maggot soup. Rita! I'll talk to her. really shouldn't speak to your parents like that, Rita. Did you eat that filth? Of course I did. It brought back memories of my family. No regret that. What about that meal was so bad? Where should I start? I could only fool myself for so long. I'm sick of playing family. It's a farce. You're quite the thinker. So how old are you? Should I guess? I don't even remember, but I'm definitely older than you. I'm trying to be serious. Maybe I understand you more than you think. You see, I used to think my family was annoying, too. I come from a long line of knights, and my upbringing was strict. Not much time for fun. I was angry a lot, mostly at my father, and I stayed away when I could. Like you, with your family now. But one day, my father was tasked with guarding our city's tribute to the king. And there was trouble on the road. Bandits ambushed and stole the tribute. My father, as leader of the guard, was held responsible for the lost treasure. And they hanged him. I saw him die. The prestigious Lidford family was stripped of its titles and knighthood. We were banished to the lower quarter like criminals. My mother cried every night for a full year and a half, then threw herself into a lake. And it wasn't until that moment when she died that I realized how much I'd actually loved my family, how much they'd meant to me, but it was too late. Don't be like me, please. Treasure your family while you still can. What a dull and maudlin tale. I am just sorry I listened. <laughs> hey! Bathroom's that way. Uh -huh. uh, right. Thank you. Here they come. Kaiser? Why are you here? How dare you speak my name with that devil tongue! You stay back. 
I'll handle this beast myself. Let's get what we came for. Leave her alone! What the hell are you doing? Custom made with a hand-picked herb. You awake now? Favaro! What have you done to me? Take a look around. It's fog. It's been playing tricks with your head, pal. Uh -huh. oh. Oh. I was hoping you wouldn't have to see the truth of things. Necromancer Rita, I presume. Your sick game of house has gone on for too long. I'm shutting you down. I don't think so, Hunter. You're going to play with me, too. Thanks for the offer, but I'm good. I suggest you wear that Kaiser, unless you just like hanging out around me. <laughs> the one. Yeah. yeah, the Black Bible. This is what we came for. Apparently, Nebelville was overrun by monsters about 200 years ago. The whole town was wiped out. The only survivor was the doctor's daughter. She found that sorcery book and used it to bring back the dead. And keep herself from aging, too. She's been playing this screwed up game of pretend ever since. I'm sick of playing family. It's a farce. You know she was bitten, so she'll be a zombie herself soon, right? But I guess that's your problem now. Seven hundred and fifty rupees. You're giving cheap. Hey, don't eat the duck. New bounties came in, which you might find interesting. Huh? Oh yeah, any easy pickings? What the hell? 
damn That's royal fine. knights. I've got three more here. You see? <laughs> wow, those poster artists are terrible. That could be anybody, right? <laughs> so, I heard the girl mention Helheim. Oh, yeah. She's freaking obsessed with getting there. <laughs> They've got some great booze. It's one of my favorite places to drink. <laughs>
about to wear! Uh, I forget. But he's probably long gone by now. Well, that's a shame. Sounds like we got here too late. Why are you following me? To pass the time? I'm just kidding. I was alone in that village so long, you can't know what that's like. There's nothing left for me there, and you seem nice enough. So what will you do? <laughs> Whatever it takes! I don't care if it takes me to the far ends of the world! I'll hunt him down! I but swear it! For it to matter that much, you must really hate him a lot. How come? It's a long story. Pardon me, sir. I think I can help you for a fee. Don't look tasty. Hey, you, Miss Catch and Release Fisherman. Does this creature look familiar to you? A duck? What? No! It's like huge and scaly, you know? An alligator. Ah, come on! No! It's way bigger! Like the size of a mountain, and it, it breathes fire, and it can burn whole cities to a crisp. Doesn't look tasty. Honestly, how hungry is this girl? Barbara. How about we knock one back together? I've got some food in there, too. <gasps> yeah, sure. As luck would have it, I am feeling parched. Uh, hey, slow down! Yes, me! You were going to say something about that nemesis of yours? For an undead girl, you're certainly curious. Oh, whoa! Oh! Okay, fine. The Fabro and I were childhood friends. <laughs> what do you remember? Hmm. About that final heist we did with Barossa. Stealing that hefty tribute to the king. And all that followed. I belonged to a family of knights. His family were carpenters. Despite the difference in our classes, we got along very well together. We saw each other almost every single day. I told him everything, including about my father, because I thought we were best friends. That snake! He used me, deceived me for all those years. His father was actually a thief. And he'd just been waiting to get information from me. I failed. He used me to sabotage my father. He ruined our lives! That night, my old man was killed on the road. Part of the tribute was a case of strange gemstones containing powerful magic. And just by handling the damn things, we summoned a horrible demon. slaughtered in minutes. I was the only one who made it out alive. It was your old man who saved my life, that heroic bastard. <laughs> Favaro, I'm going to get you to Helheim. It's the least I can do to repay my debt. Thanks, Eamon. Old man. What old man? That wrinkly guy back at the port? Not him. The one you were talking about in your story. Oh. That's what I call my father. Your father? Yeah, my freaking father, okay? You got one, right? I'm not sure. <laughs> what is a father exactly? How the hell do I answer that one? You know, it's just your parent who's a guy. It's your dad, your pops, your mom's husband. Husband? What's that? Okay, you're just messing with me, aren't you? My old man. My husband. Oh, boy. No, not your husband, your mom's. My father. What's that? So, 
sorry to interrupt this heart to heart, but it's time you went for a little dip in the sea. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hand over your valuables before you jump, and we'll take the girl. She'll fetch an even higher price than your sword. <laughs> so you're pirates? I should have known. You'll regret this. You can carry on that tough guy act all you want from the bottom of the sea floor. <laughs> Nice moves, bounty hunter, but that's enough. Throw down your sword. Sorry to break it to you, pal, but your luck has finally run out. It seems like you're the unlucky one, if you ask me. Huh? Whoa! Giant freaking crap! Oh, delicious! Huh? I mean, it does have nice color to it, but it's also trying to kill us! It's called the Shipwrecker! They say it's some countless vessels! We've gotta fight it! Where are your weapons? We don't have weapons! She's a damn cargo ship! Oh! Right! Oh, oh come on! something, but not a bad something. It's just kind of hard to explain. Does it have anything to do with that tail? What? Uh, uh, I can explain that, too. It's not really a tail, see? I mean, it is, but... Uh... Uh, color me surprised. <laughs> so you've been dancing with demons, too. What? Stay right where you are, little lady. Amen. You dirtbag! Had myself a career change. I went from being a thief to a demon's ward! <laughs> it was all planned from the start. Lidvard's execution for failing to protect all that beautiful treasure and the slaughtering of Barossa and his men by a mysterious demon on the road. That same demon granted me magic powers. I arranged the whole thing for him. Their blood was the price I paid and it was worth every last drop. You betrayed my old man. Got him killed. I'm not cut out to be an honorable bandit either, boy. Your dad was always such a goody-goody when I just wanted to get rich. It was suffocating just being around the guy. So, anyway, imagine how surprised I was when I heard you were at the port looking for a ride. Now I get the profit off the father and the son. <laughs> of course, you're really more like the appetizer. In terms of bounty, the girl's definitely in the main course. Who is this million rupee girl? I don't know who she is. I just met her, okay? Fine. Then there's no reason to keep you alive. No! Run, Favaro! Get out of here! How would I run? I'm tied up, surrounded by fish people! You can control zombies without your spell book. Unfortunately for my victims, I have more than one tool for the job. But you're a zombie yourself now. Why aren't you mindless like them? You should hold on to me. Aren't you 
Linfart's son? I am. Who are you? So you're a bounty hunter too now. Well, hands off! Those two are mine! Zombies like fish. Barbaro! I will be taking the girl! <laughs> this guy's mine. Guys and the people in charge. And demons! And that's why he refused to learn about magic despite its power. It's because of that stubbornness that he wound up dead. <laughs> and now you're going to join him. Would you be careful? I could have died, man. <laughs> it's over now, Favaro. Curse your bad luck. The same way that Barossa did that night on the road. You're the one with the bad luck. You ran into me. my sundown. Must have been my lucky day. Go. Hey, watch it, you old... Oh. Hamza, mm -hmm. did I just hear you say something? Mm -hmm. We gave him a lift here so they wouldn't attract attention. But now, listen. Washed up, are you sure? <laughs> Sounds like we wasted our time. I can't get a rain check. Steal the God King. Who sent you into the Ark? Answer me! Stop, you foul demon! Torturing a defenseless girl! Have you no shame? Abandon all hope of escaping this. Gregor's poison has sapped your spring. <laughs> Huh. 
Not again. Hmm. Come on, aren't you done yet? Let us have a turn at her. Our... Your torture sucks. You, you need, need less bark and more bite. Our... Maybe she's an ignorant pawn who doesn't even know her king. Let us torture her. Our... There's all sorts of things to try. Our... Fire and bull whips. Stab him with a stick. Torture chairs and boots. Iron maiden. Pendulums and pairs of anguish. Stab your daughter. Hot irons and bone saws. Neck violins. That does sound painful. I love How it. many times do I have to tell you? That girl hasn't done anything. She was manipulated by a demon named Favaro. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Priceless, isn't he? Now you can see why I've kept him alive. <laughs> He's hilarious! Oh my God, my thighs hurt. What's so funny? Relax, my human plaything. I'll let you in on the truth. Let's see how you feel after you know what she really is and what she's done. Funny way to say hello. What is this, puffball head? We need you to lend us your carriage. People ask a god for a favor with an offering, not a blade at his neck. I had to make sure you'd pay attention. I'll never ask for anything else. Please, just hear us out. I don't think so. <laughs> Unless you bring me some Helheim booze, I might listen to you then. I could go to Helheim for booze. I wouldn't need your help getting to freaking Helheim. And you owe me. Your tip about the boats going there was bogus. Oh, really? Damn it, what kind of gods are squirrels with people? All right, if you want a ride, let's see you pay the fare. The fare? The price is conviction. <laughs> Can you show me how serious you really are? You know that? You should have at least chopped off your arm to show him how serious you are. And how would I play the heroic sword-wielding rescuer with the stump, huh? <sighs> Kids today. <sighs> this is pathetic. The great Bacchus has lost his edge. What's pathetic is your decision-making, boy. Now that you've shattered your bracelet, you're just a common outlaw and can never go back to being a bounty hunter. You talk too much for a duck. <laughs> so what's your plan? How are you going to make a living now? Well, if I live through this rescue, I'm sure I'll come up with something. You sure are a happy-go-lucky bastard. I'd like to meet the parents who brought you up. Huh. I wish you could. My old man did teach me a lot. Feel that, Favaro? You know which way the wind is blowing? Toward tomorrow. Get it? No, do you know what he meant? No, no idea. Lady Amra's a traitor? It can't be. She stole this god key from... from heaven's sacred ground? While her actions could be beneficial to us, we have to be careful. I can't believe this girl could have pulled off such a feat on her own. Someone else is pulling the strings from the shadows. And we need to know who so we can plan our next move. If that's true, then I know the schema that you're looking for. It's that demon Favaro. He must have tricked her into stealing it. <laughs> Favaro, the demon mastermind! I've been a demon a long time. I can't believe I didn't know about him. <laughs> you can laugh out of ignorance all you want, till he ruins you. That's right, just like he ruined me. I thought Favaro Leone was harmless too. He betrayed me and set a trap for my father. He drove the Lidbon family into poverty and shame. He's evil! Did you say Lidvard? <laughs> I see. 
So you're the son of Loris Lidfard. How'd you? Which means this Favaro of yours must be the son of Barossa the Thief. <laughs> Just who in the hell are you? When you die, you'll have accomplished nothing. Exactly like your pitiful father. <laughs> Azazel is the right hand of Lucifer, chief of the fallen angels. There's no question where he's headed. The demon capital of Kokidus. Far to the west in a barren land called Sword Valley, there's a demonic gate that leads to Kokidus. I'll take you that far, but then I'm washing my hands of this. The rest is up to you. Best of luck, Puffball Head. This is the last time we'll meet. Oh, you're light. All zombies are. What's wrong? Yeah, nothing. Here we go. I still can't believe I'm in this mess. This is all her fault. Never should have asked her to kiss me! Should be relaxing out here. What about torture? We're, We're happy, happy to, to try. try. After all, we still haven't gotten a lick of information out of her yet. It doesn't matter. Even if we don't learn who she's allied with, we have possession of her body, and that means we have the God Key. There's no reason to brood. <laughs> you, let us do it. you know what to do. Sure we're going the right way in this maze? I'd say so, judging by the smell. Zombie news, huh? <laughs> you never told me. Why'd you decide to save them? Beats me! <laughs> I'm surprised! How'd they even get on board? They're like rats on a ship. I'll take care of them myself. Well, I think it's amusing. It's what makes humans so enjoyable. I'm going to give you a special opportunity, son of Loras. The opportunity to avenge the father you loved so much. <laughs> he told me you tricked him and got his father killed. And yet here you are risking your life to save him, even though he still wants to kill you. Don't worry about that. Just focus on your steps. There's no telling what kind of trap door or... Some charming decor. Why are you here? Amara? Hang on, I'll get you down. Whoa, buddy! At last! I'll reclaim my father's honor and glory of my house! We've got to get out of here first! Do it for Amara! Oh, I'll save you! Don't you dare even speak her name! <laughs> <laughs> That's it, humans. Dance. It's about time I had some entertainment. <laughs> It's your fault, my father's downfall, and my family's ruin. It's really not a good time for a recap. Ah! 
to wait. It's time to go. Uh, Rita? How did you get here? The gate to Kokitis is up ahead! We're about to pass through! Enough playing around, Arf! Hello! We have the Orleans Knights to play. They've been waiting like snakes in the grass. Catapult! Now fire away! Bring me the girl, quickly! It seems our patience has been rewarded. How did you know the Demon's Castle would come through this valley to get home? We have our intelligence and reconnaissance operations to thank for that. And you're certain she's there? I would hate to waste our resources if the One-Winged Demon isn't on board. Yes, I swear on my good name, St. Jean. Then I'll leave the next orders to you! Watchers! Release! Help me, just this once. What? Some nerd? You actually think that I... You want to save Amara or not? Huh? And as soon as we get out of this flying horror show, we can settle things between us once and for all, okay? I won't run this time. I promise. You'd better not forget those words. There you are. <laughs> You dare challenge me? Good night, you ugly son of a bitch. <laughs> you lonely bottom feeding world! <laughs> Looks like we're not out of the fire yet. That's far enough. I'm afraid I can't let you take the girl. Don't tell me. Leave her alone! 
Now then, come to me. <laughs> I see. So that explains it. Does anyone have a clue what that was? one of these puppies as long as they're dead don't move her it'll take time for the poison to wear off those flags they're the only old knights barbaro don't tell me you sent for them of course not the wind just happened to blow our way the wind <laughs> yeah the wind of tomorrow <sighs> Why am I not seeing Sir Lavalle in the line? He left the ranks earlier to check on something, St. John, but I believe that he'll catch up with us soon. What is he checking on? Favaro, where is your bracelet? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Must have slipped off. He destroyed it to get help from Bacchus, uh. so we could reach Gregor and save you. You should work on keeping your mouth shut. <gasps> He's the one responsible for your father's death, right? So why don't you kill him already? I don't have my sword. Then strangle him. It's not that hard. That's for thieves, and I am a knight. Besides... We have an agreement. Isn't that right? <laughs> so what's the agreement? Not your concern. What about her? Why does she want to go to Helheim anyway? From what I understand, it's an inhospitable place completely covered in ice, so I hardly see the appeal. Well, apparently that's where Amr's mother is. Don't ask me what she's doing there. Fancy seeing you here. <laughs> Martinet! Do you intend to have an audience with Lord Lucifer Azazel? Is that why you've come? Mm. If I were you, I would watch where I stick my nose. <laughs> I'm amazed you have the gall to waltz back to the capital like this after being ambushed and thoroughly humiliated by those humans. Do you honestly think Lord Lucifer would deign to meet with such an abject failure? You're an embarrassment, Arf! I see the news has traveled quickly. Then I'll skip the conversation and move straight to the task. Getting back the God Key. His Royal Majesty Sherios VIII, King of our land! Good tidings, Jean d'Arc. Our maiden saint blessed by the gods in heaven. I'm told you have accomplished another great feat. Your king is as grateful and as proud of you as ever. I'm pleased to hear it, sire. Present the prisoners to the king! <coughs> That's the king. Silence. You're in his majesty's presence. <coughs> She's the thief we've been after. Her? Are you sure of that? Certainly looks like an ordinary girl to me. The gems we use to spot demons don't react to her, sire. Oh. And that is precisely how the key was stolen! Three angels descending at once? Well, well. 
Get a load of the fancy ass cloud dwellers. And I thought Bacchus was classy. Even we, the gods, were fooled by this girl. For that is her talent. <laughs> This is how she circumvented our defenses. With the forbidden power to transform between god and demon at will. So Lady Amra? It's an angel? She's a demon, dumbass. Guys, she's both. <laughs> Although she's only half, the fact that the key is now entangled with demon blood means we cannot take her back to the sacred ark. King Sherios, you will keep her under heavy guard in your royal capital of Anate. Yes, of course. I shall guard her with my life. But what of them? The vagabonds who were traveling with her. I assume we should treat them as co-conspirators and put them to death? What? Put to death? How could one stupid lie get me into so much trouble? And now I'm gonna die for it? So not fair. You must not take their lives. Indeed, your wish is my command. They will be dead by the morning. Lock them up and prepare the gallows. Wait, what did you say? All four of them must remain in your city. It is imperative that your forces protect them. Protect them? Yes! I knew you angels were decent. I always said so. Ow! Behold! What? What is that? Signs of Bahamut's revival, which grow ever more intense. Bahamut? Who is that? Though it gains strength, it cannot wake yet. Its unsealing requires the Transcendent Key, the union of the two keys that the Supreme God Zeus and the Demon Lord Satan formed from themselves. Should the Transcendent Key be brought to Bahamut, horrendous catastrophes will befall creation on a scale your minds cannot fathom, and life will be pushed to the brink of extinction as it was so many years ago. It is thus unwise to take the lives of her companions. The girl's emotional strain could have unforeseen consequences. We must prevent the revival of Bahamut, no matter the costs. Keep the God Key safe. It's up to you, O Valiant Ones! As you command. Well, what are you waiting for? Release them at once! Yes, sire! Now, freedom is yours as long as you remain in the city. May our hospitality soothe you weary travelers. <laughs> it's the her! Thank you, your merciful majesty ship. I promise you won't regret that. Oh, you don't touch the king. Thank you. Thank you. I'll oh, the king. I hate this place. I need to get to Helheim. I have to see my mother. Come on, can you tone down the crazy? You're in no condition to go anywhere right now. Does your word mean nothing to you? You promised you'd take me to Helheim. Yeah, yeah but... You promised, you promised, you promised! And I've been trying, okay? But, just so we're clear, it's only because you put a dumb curse on me. What? I'll be damned. Isn't that interesting? He's almost like a demon. Almost? Don't you listen to anything? She cursed him with some kind of contract spell, presumably. He's a run-of-the-mill human after all. Favaro's human? You're sure? Of course I'm human, stupid! You grew up with me! Just a normal former bounty hunter who's had enough of this crap! And I'm not taking you to Helheim. I'm tired of risking my neck. <gasps> so if you want to go to that wasteland so bad, then go by yourself. But first, you need to get this damn tail off me right now. Then a thank you would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> can't leave these quarters now. We'll keep her under guard here until her wounds have fully healed. The rest of you can use the room next door. Actually, I would rather have a private room as well. Don't push your luck. Under any other circumstances, we'd have hanged you. Of course, we'll be keeping your weapons while you're in the castle. Uh huh? Damn it. <sighs> what is that? Some kind of signal? It's a warning bell means demons are approaching.
there, ghouls? That's the report, and they're much larger than before. Then I'll destroy them with Malte. They're nothing against the spear of the gods. I'm not sure that's wise, going into battle by yourself. I'm sure. I can hear the gods speaking to me now, and their message is plain. They're telling me to attack without fear! Increasing. She seems more powerful now than ever. Maybe it's the presence of the God Key. It's hard to believe. Demon kind is no match for us now! We have the blessings of the gods to shield us! <laughs> the gods' one and only maiden saint. Bah. Containing Bahamut has been more manageable since her rescue. It definitely seems the girl's well-being is now vital to maintaining the ancient seal on the beast. Indeed. But we still can't afford to leave the key in the human's custody forever. The human, Jeanne d'Arc, was chosen to serve us in the resealing should it come to that. You'll have a grave price to pay, Michael, if that half-god, half-demon keeps us from carrying out our plans. She surprised me. She was protected by powerful magic. I believe someone else was behind it. The one scheming to steal the key and break Bahamut's seal. I've received word from the knights. They say the girl was on her way to Helheim. To the location of the other key, as we suspected. If we continue to hold the girl within the royal capital of Anity, the schemer will almost certainly make a move. This is the perfect chance to expose who's behind this. We will use her to our advantage, then draw our enemy from the shadows. Now this is a life! When they caught us, I expected hell! <laughs> oh yeah, and instead I'm in heaven with you angels. It's great! Enjoying yourself? I don't understand either one of you idiots. If you hate him, why aren't you doing anything? <sighs> Rita. This is boring. I'm going to bed. No, I swear. I've been through all kinds of danger and seen tons of beautiful women, but none are as pretty as you, you are two. too much. <laughs> so tell us, what's the most dangerous place you've been to? Let me think. It's too hard to pick. Hey, mm -hmm. this could come in handy. Poor thing. Both mind and body tortured from inside and out. Who's there? You seek answers, don't you? You wish to know the real reason you were brought into this existence. And I am someone who can grant you that wish. Uh, no, come back! <laughs> Could not drink another drop. <sighs> what you waiting for? This is the perfect chance for revenge. That's what you want, isn't it? I'm not so sure. Maybe. Huh? I don't even know what the truth is anymore. I don't know how I should feel or what I should do, and the more I think, the more I get confused. 
Tell me, why did you come to my rescue? I've been chasing you all this time. I'm clearly a hindrance, and... And it seems Lady Amara is too. So why? What kind of person are you, Favaro? What's the truth? Isn't it obvious? You know what I am. Oh. I'm a lying trickster and a rogue and a fairest backstabbing villain. Black tie. Yes. Exactly right. <laughs> You're arrogant and crude! A snake-tongued devil! A repugnant womanizer! Hey, you're a narrow-minded fool who spends entirely too much time screaming his lungs out! Silence meets my blade! You have to put your little game on hold, boys. Amira's missing. I just checked her quarters. Seriously? This way. Turned a friggin' arc! Of all the people in the capital, I had to run into her! I'm just taking a stroll to clear my head. See ya! You came to Bahamut. Do you know about it? Uh, wait, did you say Bahamut? The Great Destroyer. The one that would bring about the end of our world. Neither god nor demon, its power surpasses us all. It is said that mountains will crumble, seas will boil. And all realms will be reduced to nothingness once its power awakens. That's Bahamut? That's what they meant? It happened many centuries ago. Bahamut appeared from the skies without warning and turned the world into a living hell in the blink of an eye. It set the lands ablaze, nearly exterminating all life in its merciless fury. But then, just as gods, demons, and humans alike had abandoned hope, a miracle was performed. The Supreme God Zeus and the Demon Lord Satan transformed themselves into a god and demon key, sacrificing their physical forms to seal Bahamut and Abus. This stone statue was carved in remembrance. Now it's a Mecca. People come here to offer prayers and achieve inner peace. They pray to a monster? Not at all. They pray to a knight. Up there, a holy knight prophesied by the gods. And what's the prophecy? When Bahamut revives, a knight of high valor will appear to face the doom and restore peace to the land. The citizens of the royal capital believe in this prophecy. They also believe the awakening is coming soon and that I am that knight. It is my earnest hope that I will not let them down. I pray I can be their promised savior if that day does come. Good. It has nothing to do with me. Why do you say that? I wound up here because I got mixed up with a weird demon girl and I stupidly tried to play for some action. The three things I care about are women, freedom, and booze, and life as a bounty hunter was perfect for me before I screwed that up. All this stuff about holy knights and world-ending monsters? Yeah, that's a world apart from me. I wouldn't be so sure. Huh? I began my life as a simple farm girl in a small remote village you couldn't find on a map. Despite that humble start, I received the light and revelation of the gods and was awakened to my mission. We're all born into this world for a reason. We're all meant to play a role. And I believe that yours is a crucial one. It was no accident that you met the girl. Your destiny is already calling. Destiny, my ass. Yeah, right. There's no reason to any of this. Who are you? Tell me. Why do you have the same pendant? I was asked to keep it safe by your own mother. By my mother? Then you know her? Does that mean? Yeah, my freaking father, okay? You got one, right?
the drawbridge! You're late. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. What's our strategy, St. John? You'll defend the outer wall with the Sorcerer and Catapult Division, Sir Galvan. Sir Lavalie, you will lead the Dragon Knights against the invaders at the second wall. I'll remain here and protect the castle with his majesty. Sir! Sir. Move out! Tamara! Where'd you go? The girl needs a collar with a bell. Barbaro. Great, we're all here. Um, where's Lady Amra? Hmm? Oh, good. Did she say what happened? Well, according to her, she met her father. And now she's all hyped up. What? Her father? In the castle? So, it's a celebration meal? Are you satisfied now? How big is your stomach? No matter what! Don't tell me. Decent work. Seems she poses the only real threat. Leave her to me. Just don't botch it up. Hmm. She's even aware of the situation she's in. Mm -hmm. You saw how worried those angels were about her safety. We must prevent the revival of Bahamut no matter what the costs. Keep the God Key safe. It's up to you, oh valiant ones! Clearly, these demons have come from her. Clearly. 
So, what should we do? I'm not sure, but for now, let's try to move her to a better hiding place. Too late for that. <laughs> You again. It was him. Now I'm sure of it. There's no need to struggle. Just be good little humans and hand over the god key. Not a chance! Oh dear, is that your chivalry talking? Noble to a fault, just like your father was. You still haven't explained how you knew my father. <laughs> And what if I told you I was the reason he was sent to the gallows? <laughs> oh, I remember it well. The vicious jeers the people showered on your father. That delicious fire in their eyes, that contempt in their voices. Let that pathetic night swing till dead! If I could bottle that malice, I would drink it all day. You arranged it? Why? Those gemstones were toys of mine, actually. When I planned it, I thought Eamon's betrayal would be the best part. Those villagers, they made your father's death so fun. I'll never forget those shouts. <gasps> you got a real gift for storytelling, wing boy, but let's get the facts straight. The bastard who got his old man killed? That bastard is right here. Am I supposed to laugh? What are you doing? He just said... Listen, Kaiser, I've got a little mission for you. Take Amara and run for it. I'm leaving it to you to get her safely to Helheim. <sighs> Go on, get out. This is a battle between two demons now. He'll kill you! <clears throat> Do what he says! Between two demons, you said. How interesting. <laughs> Seize the god key, darlings. Hey! Come on, that's cheating! I am a demon, aren't I? What's the matter? Is the human's heralded warrior already done? <laughs> Fighting you is beneath me, but it's almost over. This is the end of your baseless bravado. This is when you die! of darkness and impurity. She got him! <laughs> Does your death amuse you? I wouldn't count this as a victory if I were you. We'll get what we came for. <gasps> the God Key. St. Jean. Are you injured? It's fine, I'll live. The only thing that matters is the girl. Yes, Captain. Understood.
For a moment, I thought you'd actually challenge me. But since you're so disappointing, I guess I'll just take the key now. Swiped one of your bombs earlier. Thought I'd use it on you. Guess even knights can get a case of the sticky fingers. So where's Amara? In good hands. Not that I'm ungrateful, but why'd you come back? For revenge, Father uh, uh... Can't let this demon kill you. Or I'd never have my vengeance for what you did to my father, would I? <laughs> oh, Favaro, that's right. You're that thief Barossa, son. I almost forgot. This is almost too hilarious for words. Your little dynamic is starting to make sense. So you took on this role of sworn enemy to give him a reason to live. What? Only humans can manage such touching and melodramatic nonsense. That's why I like to come here. You could say it's my guilty pleasure. This makes me feel proud. I'm responsible for both your father's deaths, and you've been fighting for years because of me. <laughs> Very well, we can play for a little bit. I am busy, but this theater is too good to resist. You got a screwy view of things, pal. My old man's dead because he messed up. Simple as that. Avenging him? Giving Kaiser a reason to live? I don't give a damn about that. I don't live for some ideal. I'm not wasting my time trying to fix an old wrong or make somebody else feel happier. I live for myself, and that's it. Favaro. You're not my arch enemy. You're not my anything. You're just a stupid demon who happens to be in my way. You'll pay for that disrespect. I suppose that's what makes us so different. I have my way of seeing the world, and you have yours. Well, I'll give him one thing. He's right about you being dramatic. I can't change how I am. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You have a tail? It's like I told you. This is a fight between demons. Don't let a measly contract spell go to your head. No! This is a battle between human and demon! <laughs> Two humans and a demon, to be exact! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> so sorry to disappoint you, but I can't be killed with human steel. Seems that overgrown flying cat has failed me. How disappointing. No matter. I'll simply have to kill you both now and finish this myself. Son of a bitch. There gotta be something we can do to kill this jerk off. I'm changing the plan. Huh? You take it to Helheim, Favaro. I'll take care of him. Get ready to join your father. <laughs> Kaiser! The 
shortcomings of my own kind are what caused my father's death. You're not his killer. You're a coward whispering from the shadows. A little demon in the dark. And now, you'll meet the light. <laughs> Give thanks to the gods. We did it, St. John. Good work. Those two bounty hunters we captured with the girl. Tell me their names again. Over. Now let's get you back to your... Perfect. Saint Jean, holiest of maidens. You've served your king in war magnificently once again. As a reward, I shall grant you a territory of your own. What would you like? Barazo? Ruel? I'm grateful, sire, but I must humbly decline. Decline? Are you sure? I have no doubt, sire. There is, however, one request I would make instead. <sighs> Are you all right, my lady? What happened? You fainted by the statue. We're not sure why. I'm pretty sure I know why. She drank a whole barrel. It's not helpful when you talk. I, uh, I had a dream. About when I came out of my cocoon. Cocoon? I was sleeping there, growing inside it for who knows how long. Wake up. You are one of the most special beings in all of creation. I am... special. You must fulfill your mission, my dear Amira. Do so faithfully, and your greatest wish will most certainly come true. She waits for you now, in the promised land of Helheim. Go to... Helheim. She is the key to your happiness. She is all you desire. Go to her. My mother. You said before that pendant helps you remember her, right? I'm sure you miss your family a great deal. <gasps> father! Hey now, no more disappearing. Where are you going? My father was calling for me when I fainted! Calm down. You want to see your dad, I can understand that. But it's not safe to go wandering around. <clears throat> what about her father? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. We're just telling stories. You come here for a reason? The king wants to see you. At the steps of his throne. What? Anyone want to guess what this is about? How would I know? Maybe he's going to send us to the gallows after all. That's easy to joke about for a zombie since you're already dead. 
Huh? Now what? That's my father! By the woman! Are you kidding? That's John Dark's lieutenant. Father! Can we talk before you cause a royal scene? Do you seriously think that big shot is your dad? If that's true, it's significant, for starters. It would mean he's not really a human. A demon in disguise? I'd buy that. No. Uh, he can't be a demon. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Make up your mind. I met him once before in the city of Whiterp. I was close to giving up. Desperation is a powerful force. It can make a man stronger. Don't ever forget that. He inspired me when I needed it most. He's a proud and honorable knight. Pavaro Leone, Kaiser Lidvard, my kingdom is in your debt. For your heroics against the demon raiders, I confer on both of you the title of knight. Huh? Knighthood? For us? Your majesty. Thanks for the gesture, but that sounds like way more. We hassle. gratefully accept, uh, sire. <laughs> Hear ye! The ceremony of knighthood shall now commence! As king of this realm, I hereby appoint you both to the royal order of the Orleans Knights. You honor us too much, sire. Yeah, you shouldn't have. long last, I have fulfilled my oath. I'll never have to hunt bounties again. That's too bad, because you can't take off that bracelet. I mean, you can't even break it with a sword. What? Not unless you're in that drunk's presence. Who knows what tavern he's at? <laughs> Saint Jean, these are the courageous warriors who fought the demon invaders with us. I have no doubt they will make my royal Orleans knights even stronger. Most wise, your majesty. The Angel Michael. You have battled magnificently, O oh, valiant humans. You are serving the gods well. Of course. It is our honor to serve. As long as the guard key is on human ground, there will be more activity from the demons, and you must be well armed. Thank you. The Precious, a sword capable of both blessedness and malevolence. It can even slay a god. I bestow it onto you, Saint Jean. May you use its power righteously. I swear that I shall. Michael, and what about me? Yes, your good faith will be rewarded. Continue to serve us piously, and your endeavors will have the blessing of the gods.
curse that usurping woman. The king of Anate is the proxy for the gods. They should only be speaking to me. She rejected my offer for land, which would have gotten her out of my city. And now Michael openly humiliates me by giving her that holy sword instead. Oh, tell me, mother, please. Who is the most revered in the capital? Who do the people love more? You must be careful, my son. <laughs> There is a traitor in your midst. A viper who wants to take your life. Who wants to kill me? Who is it, Mother? You know the answer, son. Look! Jean Dark? This is a warning. A vision of what will very soon come to pass. Jean will come. She will strike you down and steal your kingdom for herself. I won't let her. I don't want to die. All hail the maiden chief! the light of Anate! The king is dead! Good riddance! I won't allow it! I won't! I'm the king! It's not right! Put. How was that not clear? I'm sorry, it's just... You can finally see your father, and it's hard for you to pass that up. <sighs> Come on, let's go. This isn't the way to our quarters. Yeah, yeah, I know. If my information's right, then your old man should be up there. You won't be happy till you see him, right? Hmm. Then go up and do it already, would ya? <laughs> Thank you, Father! I'll be damned. That's the first time she ever said my name. <laughs> well, she forgot the row, but, you know, baby steps. Hey, what are you doing? This isn't a group trip. If you think I'm going to miss this, you're insane. Yeah, fair point. Um... Father? You're here, Amara. I'm glad. I had to... It's hard to believe you were a baby five years ago. Five years? The... <laughs> Sorry about that. My bad. Leone, from what I understand, you've saved her life more than once. I'm sure this was more than you bargained for. Thank you for keeping her safe. He had help. Amira, we need to talk now. It's high time you learn the truth about you and your mother. The gods of war have been wiped out? It doesn't appear to be the work of Azazel or his lord, but whoever did it... ...is the mastermind behind the theft of the key, obviously. Gabriel, what should we do? Instruct the humans to increase security in their capital. We must prevent the key girl from being abducted while we prepare for our next move. If Lucifer isn't behind this, who could it be? It's been a long time, Beelzebub. Azazel has failed you miserably. Demonkind cannot afford more blunders, Lucifer. A real pity. I'll just have to send someone else. No need. I will take over from here. Is that so? Do you object to that? No. Once I retrieve the girl, we will have both sides of the key. 
then the remanifestation of Lord Satan can begin. As the angels said, Amira is remarkably special. Born from a union between demon and god. Yeah, I've been wondering about that. So a demon and a god actually hooked up? Do their parts even line up right? Do they even have parts? So what does that make you? Uh, uh? I do know Amira, but I'm not her father. I am an ordinary human. It was five years ago. I was assigned as a bodyguard for an angel who needed assistance. Her name was Nicole, Amira, your mother. She had been cast out of heaven, forbidden to ever return to her kind. Despite this, she looked so happy, because she had you in her arms. As her guard, we faced relentless demon attacks, and we were exhausted. But seeing the two of you in our camp gave us the hope we needed to survive. But then... After you were kidnapped, Nicole left for the demon realm on her own, determined to get you back. She left this pendant with me, to keep safe. I was reassigned and continued fighting in other campaigns. For a time, I searched for Nicole on my own, but to no avail. And then, that day at the bridge. The pendant told me all I needed to know. You had grown, but there was no mistaking it. You were Nicole's daughter. Fascinating tale. So the demons kidnapped her as a baby and sped her growth so they wouldn't have to wait. That explains why she's so childish. I just thought she was weird. So what now? I was told over and over I could see her again. As soon as I took the key to Helheim... And now that you know the truth, you're right not to trust those words. Helheim is a demon stronghold. A god couldn't survive there. But... If she's not there, where is she? Your pendant. Let me see it. Well, I certainly didn't know her little keepsake could do that. That's it. Her true location. In the Valley of Prudigia. You know that place? No. If you let this be your guide, then you can reach your mother at last. Please, take it with you. Another compass. I won't break it this time. Your mother had a power that was unusual, even among gods. And I believe that's another reason the demons were after her. If it's possible to free you of the god key, then she's the one who can do it. It's settled. Of course I'll go. What? Seriously? And that should mean she'll remove your tail. Oh, yeah! I think it's a great plan. Believe me, Amara, I would go with you if I could. Yes, I know that. Your soldiers need you here, I understand. I'm sorry. When you find her, be sure to thank her for the faith she had in me. No, I'm going to bring her back with me, so you can thank her in person. Sounds good. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a softie. Yeah. Just the thought of finally getting rid of this tail. And you'll go with me, right, Fava? Hell no. I'd rather jump at a damn fire. I wish I could. I bet your mom's a real looker. It'd be great to meet her at least once. But I've got other plans I just can't get out of. You sure? Yeah, I mean, it breaks my heart, but I got responsibilities. Well, too bad. <sighs> That's nice. Are you gonna tell Kaiser about this? He's back to being a fancy tin can now. He's got no reason to hang around with us anymore. Guess that means the three of us will have to be your send-off party. Though I highly doubt we can sneak her out of here without some serious distraction.
underground water channels. Wapley's clever, I'll give him that. I still can't believe that tiny little lie got me into all this crap. But now it's finally over. Now get this tail off me. Oh no. It's with a wavy hand. Well, you did say you wanted to meet my mother, didn't you? Uh. Uh. Kind of spooky here, huh? Not to me. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> One day I'm gonna make a decision with my actual brain. I gotta get out of this forest. There's probably at least a dozen type of monsters waiting to gut me. This girl hey, baffled my health. Relax. Sure she'll know you. How could she? <sighs> One good hug and she'll instantly know. That's a Favreau guarantee. Really? Huh? If I hug her, then she'll know that it's me. You're sure of that? Of course. That's how moms are. It's like their special power. <laughs> hey, hey, easy. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> oh. Galrin. What a tragic fate to suffer. How could my guards allow this? All dead. Their throats were slit. <sighs> There's something in his hand. Is that hair? Let me see. It's blonde! I knew it! It must have been her! That witch tried to kill me! This is madness! I would never try to hurt you, your majesty! Silence! The proof is right here! This hair matches yours exactly! Someone could have taken it from my quarters. That proves nothing! Don't you try to fool me, woman! You came to murder me in my sleep, but Garrel discovered you, so you killed him and fled! I had nothing to do with this, I swear! You can save all of your lives for your Inquisition! I demand to see Michael! My guardian angel will exonerate me! Think again! The three angels have returned to the heavens! They have no time for you! That can't be. You've also allowed the girl to escape the city. With the failure of this profound, the angels will soon forsake us completely. You want to ruin me any way you can. It's all your fault, you filthy, godless witch! Something wrong? Uh, 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 uh. There's still more. What? Where? Oh, uh... <clears throat> they track us down so fast. <clears throat> oh, come on! Favreau, we're going back to Anate. Don't make this hard. Uh... What's your problem? Are your feelings hurt because we live without you? You have a perfectly good reason. Yes, I'm sure you do! What the hell, man? Not cool! This is only for show, so just play along. Huh? Father! <laughs> <laughs> The rest of you stay back. He's mine. Uh, oh. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, oh. Uh, uh. Stop! Don't kill him. Yes, your boss has a good plan. No, no, no. Let's not do that. Uh. 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 Stop. That mark on your. It's
lost the girl. She's no longer in the capital. We'll take over from here. Get to heaven as quickly as you can. Tell Gabriel to send us reinforcements. Understood. The seal is becoming too far out of balance. Move quickly, oh maiden. You must return the girl to safety. Oh, you poor abused little saint. Who's there? It breaks my heart. The dutiful maiden abandoned by the gods. You're less of a maiden now and more of a sacrificial lamb. Or should I echo the king and call you a powerful dark witch instead? I assume you're the one who slew Garon. Oh, what an ugly thing to say. You treat me as your enemy when I'm the only one on your side. I've gone to a lot of trouble to get here and save your life. You think I am a fool? <laughs> Quite the opposite. I think you're wise enough to know when you've been betrayed. I am not betrayed. I have been chosen as a halberd and shield of the gods. And as a holy knight, I will have no regrets in giving my life in service of the divine. A holy knight, she says. Is that how they've tricked you into this? Why, you're nothing of the sword. So who exactly told you that remarkable lie, I wonder? It wasn't your beloved guardian angel, Michael, was it? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know the truth? The truth the gods are hiding from you and all the other pitiable sheep. Drink this elixir. It will lift the veil and show you the world as it truly is. I will not listen to the filthy words of a demon. All right, all right, no pressure, of course. Unlike those puppeteer gods, I respect you, and I want you to make your own decisions. But let me leave you with a little advice. No matter how much you suffer, no matter the depths of your agony or the shrillness of your screams, don't expect your merciful guardian angel to save you, because he won't! He won't! <laughs> what was that? Where'd they go? What sort of place is this? Can't you see me? I'm right here! Help us! Oh, great. Well, that's hired help for you, right? Can't be trusted. What's that? You got me. <laughs> I won't budge. <sighs> okay, why not? I don't even know why we're doing this, and there's no way I can pull it out. Oh. oh. I'll be damned. Don't be sad. Most people are wimps compared to me. Uh Hey, what's wrong? Now don't get hostile! That was only a joke! You loosened it! You have my thanks. Uh-huh. I feel so much better without that barb in me. It's been bothering me for the last 2,000 years. Who is this geezer? You should probably be polite. Who are you? A geezer, sir? I am a dragon. We, we knew that. that. What you pulled from me has a great power. So we're skipping introductions, huh? It is a barb from Bahamut itself. Wow, really? All those passing centuries, yet it was never removed until now. It seems it was fated to guide you here. That's crazy. Bahamut has appeared many times over the long span of existence, and each occurrence brought death and ruin to the world. Its last appearance was around 2,000 years ago. That time, in what could only be called a miracle, 
the gods and demons allied to seal Bahamut, thus preventing a greater destruction. It was in that moment that this barb lodged in my foot. It tore through the very fabric of space-time and reached me in this alternate plane. Bahamut's power is like nothing else. The world has been spared the Destroyer's wrath all this time, but now Bahamut is on the verge of awakening and wreaking havoc once again. And it is this young girl who would unseal it. Then you know about Lady Amr. Indeed I do. I am an eternal observer after all. She is now half the key and will soon become the whole. If the completed transcendent key and the seal are brought together, Bahamut will awaken and destroy the world, just as it has so many times before. We won't let that happen! The gods and demons are amassing forces as we speak. Destruction has a momentum of its own. The humans have failed us. They have lost the key. If the girl reaches her demon allies, I'm convinced they'll march on Abbas and put the whole world at risk. Heroic warriors of light, we cannot let this happen! Prepare yourselves for battle! The God Key has left the human city. The scheming angels have decided our damnation is not enough, and they plan to use Bahamut to destroy us completely. My fallen brothers and sisters of the darkness, we must take up our swords and fight! What exactly are you scheming, Beelzebub? This time, when the gods try to crush us underfoot, they will find they are stepping on our blade! So, we're doomed. Relax, would you? Any back alley fortune teller can predict the end of the world. Destruction is your fate, and fate cannot be changed. Favaro, what is it? It's nothing, okay? So the whole world's going to be ruined because of me? Everyone's going to die? Yes. And my mother, too? No one will remain. <laughs> but it was also fate that you stumbled into this place. And so there may be one way to prevent your lives from unfolding down their destructive path. You mean it? You can remove yourselves from your own destinies by remaining in this separate plane of existence forever. Live here for good? But if I do that, then what about my mother? How will I ever see her? Screw this. Listen, dragon. I say to hell with fame! 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 Easy. I didn't go through all this for nothing. We're way too close to finding your mom to give up, Amara. If I go on, then she'll die. He said so. Forget that. These are our lives. We call the shots. Listen up, you wrinkly lizard! I'm tired of all this destiny crap! We can change our so-called fate, whenever and however we want. You got that? We can change it. Of course, and we will. Our future's not written in stone. It can change like the breeze! <laughs> That's what my old man meant all along. Feel that, Favaro? Know which way the wind is blowing? Toward tomorrow! <laughs> worked. Father! Favaro, for once I agree with you. I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> you surprise me, young human. That was wonderful. Here I go being impulsive again. Hope I don't regret it. I understand. Now go forth and meet your future. You won't stop us. 
I am only an observer, nothing more. It is not my place to stop you. Take that barb of Bahamut with you. If it can tear through the planes of reality, perhaps it can tear through fate as well. Well, thanks for your help, you old bastard! We won't forget you, Mr. Geezer! We'll make you proud, O oh Great One. You and I have more to discuss, Bold Knight. St. John is being burned at the stake? But that's madness! She possibly be a traitor! She's a holy knight! She's supposed to save us! Shut up, all of you! Oppose the King's decree, and you can burn right next to her! Huh? Uh, uh, Gross! Please have mercy, your majesty. This must be a mistake. She would never act against you. Silence! <coughs> From now on, anyone who praises that witch is a traitor. Seize every last one of them. And if they don't recant, then kill them too! Foxglove, Mandrake Root, Cockatrice Gizzard, Basilisk Heart? These are pretty shady ingredients to be stockpiling in a royal castle. Hmm? Someone's been performing magic here, and it looks like a powerful spell. Looking for something, madam? Too bad for you. This is it? The place where my mother lives? Rhodesia. What's the matter, Favaro? Losing your nerve? Don't worry, I'm strong. You certainly are. You and I have more to discuss, bold knight. As long as the girl is the key's vessel, the miracle of 2,000 years ago cannot repeat. What? What's that mean? Zeus and Satan now exist only as keys. Bahamut's seal has become unstable. The god and demon lords must be restored to their bodies to seal the creature. But only the blood of a human vessel can restore them. Since the girl has no human blood, she cannot make this happen. Well, that's great. So because she's a god and a demon half-breed, she could steal the key, but she can't use it the right way? Correct. And if the transcendent key and Bahamut come together with that girl as the vessel, they will be permanently joined. Zeus and Satan will be lost, and a new seal will be impossible. That much is certain. So how come you're telling me all this? Hmm. You're the one who's convinced he can change his fate. So you need to know the facts. If you truly want to stop Bahamut and the world's destruction... Hey! Can you hear me, Mother? I made it! I'll be there soon! <laughs> you must kill the girl. She'll know that I'm her daughter, because it's a special power all mothers have. Right, Fava? Yeah, that's what Fava told you. I'm so excited to see her. I hope we find her soon. Never fear, my lady. I'm on the job. And trust me, she's very close and we'll get there before you know it. And when we do... Then we can change our fate! Favaro, you're the one who opened our eyes to this path. You opened our eyes, yeah! Right. It's more like I open my big mouth. If you truly want to stop Bahamut and the world's destruction, you must kill the girl. Can someone give me a break for once? Why has it gotta be me? It has to be a mistake! People of Agate! This woman bound before you is not a saint! 
She is an agent of darkness and evil, bent on destroying this kingdom. She is a serpent in human guise. She has infiltrated the capital. It's hard to tell if the man's a heretic or a fool. We must act as king of this land. I hereby sentence Joan Dark the Witch to be burned at the stake for her sins. Stop! Joan isn't a witch! She's our savior, the Holy Knight! In these purifying flames, may your sins be atoned. In the name of the Holy Spirit, may your soul be cleansed. They defy their holy king? Any person who sides with that witch is a co-conspirator! Kill them! Crush the rebellion! What is the king doing? Gods in heaven, stop this! All these innocent lives! How can you let this happen? Why aren't you protecting the people you claim to love? Fly God! A holy night is an offering to the gods, nothing more. We only wanted you as a vessel to bring back Zeus. Then we would throw you away. Humans are only pawns to be used for our purposes. Your little lives mean nothing to no! us. No! But we worship you! Don't delude yourself, Sean. The gods have no love for humans whatsoever. <laughs> it's time you accept the world as it actually is. If you want salvation for your fellow humans, you'll have to take it by force. Saint went and turned into a demon. So, any chance you're marginally sober? It's you again. Yeah, me. And I've got another favor to ask you. That'll do. I hope. Considering the Bob's power, that should make quite a weapon. <laughs> this place feels dead. You sure we're going the right way? Of course I'm sure. I'm following this compass. Lady Amara's mother should be very close. Just like that stuff in Nebelville. Can you hear it? That beautiful moaning in the wind. It's the voice of the Demon Key, crying out to fulfill its purpose and become one with you now. Amira. Hmm. A spell that turns humans into demons. 
That's what happened to Jean d'Arc at the stake. You saw it for yourself. I've seen humans make packs with demons to get magic powers. But this? You've been around a long time. You ever heard of a human who was turned into a full-fledged demon? Now that you mention it, there are rumors. Some claim there's a guy with a bounty who mastered a spell that can do that. A bounty? Yeah. No one knows if he's a human or a demon. But the rumors all agree. He's obsessed with death. He can change his appearance at will, and he's an expert at manipulating others. He's left a mountain of corpses in his wake. But his most fearsome power of all... Is a spell that turns men into demons? Yeah, but like I said, they're rumors. As the story goes, no one's ever met him and survived, which makes it hard to verify. So, does this ghost story bounty man have a name? Yeah. Word is, he calls himself... <laughs> We just hit something. Watch where you're going, dumbass! <gasps> um. Oops. Martine, my teacher. What is he doing here? Teacher? My teacher told me be with her again one day as long as I held on to this that's the guy I've been waiting for you Amira somewhat impatiently to be honest right here in H E L H I M what Helheim? so you are joking right that can't be true we followed the compass the whole way here it's been leading us straight to Perdizia oh and you trusted that just because it was pretty and glowed. The fact is, you've been heading here from the moment you stepped out of Anate. Teacher, what are you talking about? Allow me to make an introduction. <laughs> Meet the handsome gentleman who shall rule the world. Since the demon lord Satan is about to be gone forever, he will soon lay claim to the demon throne and be crowned Lord Beelzebub! Beelzebub? What the hell is this? I can't move! Amira, it is time to fulfill your purpose. ...as an instrument for breaking Bahamut's seal. Sorry, but no. Oh? I've made up my mind. I'm going to change our fate. I'm taking my mother and leaving this place! She's going to take the key out of me and then we'll be happy again! Hmm. That's an interesting idea. Yes. Why don't you try asking her right now? <laughs> Dear mother and daughter, reunited at last. Oh, you did survive. Necromancer Rita. I'm a zombie now. I'm warning you to behave. If you try anything funny in here, we'll finish you for good. What are you playing at? Why bother dragging me in here? We have some questions to ask you, that's all. And you're stupid enough to think I'll answer them? It might be in your interest. It's about the people behind this plot with Amira and the God Key. And I get the sense you've been left out of the party. for go to her isn't that what you want i thought you missed her with all of your heart is that really her probably i sure do look alike oh perhaps you're worried it's too good to be true well let me reassure you she is the real deal That's it. Don't be shy. Let the reunion commence. What is this? 
after going through so much trouble to get here. Go on, ask her to remove the key. Ask the woman who despises you more than anything else in existence. No, you're lying! I know you are, because I remember. My mother loved me. I know she... Now you've seen what really happened. You weren't born from that angel, you were extracted. Like a parasite, you bored into her soul and ripped out the parts we needed. If anyone is responsible for your birth, it's the great Beelzebub, not her. Why? And that pendant. No. You know why it helped you remember your mother? Because that's what I designed it to do. No. I used magic to implant those memories in it. All false, of course, and it's been feeding them to you. Liar. Though I have to admit, I hoped it would do the trick, but I never dreamed it would work that well. I mean, you ate at those memories like candy, didn't you? You liar! You liar! You liar! You liar! You liar! If you're interested, I'd be happy to create more memories for you to enjoy. I consider myself something of an artist, and I just love it when someone appreciates my work. <laughs> the person at all. You're a tool we created. A means to an end, nothing more. You're the vessel for the transcendent key that will soon revive Muhammad. Transcendent key. That's what this is all about. I'll hug her. <laughs> That's all I have to do. And then she'll know. <laughs> she'll know that I'm hers. Because that's how mothers are, right? Don't do it. Amara! No! It's a trap! Stay away! No!
was that? Damn it! If things keep going like this, we'll have no chance of stopping Bahamut's awakening. Tell me everything you know about who's behind this, and fast. I'd laugh if it didn't hurt. Who ever heard of a zombie trying to stop the world from ending? Don't give a damn about the world. I only care about those boys. They're too young to die. <laughs> well, I agree with you on the first part, but the only life I care about is my own. Make a deal? What kind of deal? Not much. Passage to Wabos is all that I'll need. Transcendent key is now complete, my lord. And now we will wake Bahamut. And those devils! How could they do that? Guess this means there's only one option left. What option? You've got a plan? Yeah. Hey! Hmm. Question for you! How about we... The moment we feared has come. The transcendent key has been formed. Beelzebub? He's a high-ranking demon, right? In charge of overseeing Helheim? He was the one pulling the girl's strings from the start. Too big of a puppet show. He must have had some help. His lackey Martinet has been helping. Huh? Martinet? What an elegant name. I bet she's a cute one. She's a he. Ew. You think that could be another name he uses? You mean that bounty guy? It's possible, I guess. If anyone can turn humans into demons, I'd say he'd have the best shot. Well, maybe he's not a demon. He's just huh? posing as one. After all, if a little zombie girl from Nowhereville can figure out his spells, how sophisticated can he really be? <laughs> we should hurry. I don't think saving existence is the sort of thing you should be late for. <laughs> to despair. The key must make contact with Muhammad for it to work. As long as we maintain this barrier, we'll prevail! isn't Sean. Or rather, it is and it isn't. Her soul is in there, but she's changed. She's overflowing with demonic energy. But how did this happen? Juriel! She's coming your way! No! 
Well, that was certainly close. It's a good thing we came. <clears throat> Thanks, Bacchus. Fair warning. We're a bit over capacity right now. <clears throat> That's the Angel Michael. Who's that with him? St. John. But why does she look like that? She's not a saint now. She's been turned into a demon through sorcery. <clears throat> Not her, too. That's what happened to Favaro. Oh, crap. Hey, guys! We've been spotted! Something. The Lidford boy. How in the world are you still alive? Azazel, what are you doing here? 
I'd love to stay here and chat while I methodically slice you into pieces. Sadly, I have a prior engagement up there. It's tragic being too busy to crush a bug. Fine then. If you can stomach leaving things this way, well, that's your choice. What does that mean? If you run off now, that makes your loss to us permanent. First, you pitiful humans never beat me. I simply regrouped. And the next time we meet... If there is a next time, hmm? the world's on the brink of destruction. We may never cross paths again. Hmm. You insufferable man. If the world does end, I hope you're the first to go. Hold on to one of these. If you can get into your old pal's bloodstream... <laughs> 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 Getting tired of this. This makes three falls in one day. Oh. I've changed my mind. I am going to give you the ending that I think you deserve. Are you ready for it? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. <laughs> Forgive me, my holy maiden. <gasps> what have I done? <gasps> it's all right, Sean. This is our punishment. For losing Zeus and for treating humans as beneath us instead of working with you as trusted partners like we did 2,000 years ago. We bear the blame for these consequences, not you. I should have been stronger. I failed you. No, Jean. You are a strong and pious maiden blessed by the gods. You shall guide your people in the days to come. Know this in your heart. Though my physical vessel may fade away, my spirit will always be with you. You will not be alone, my child. I go now! At least we don't have to worry about her anymore. Bacchus, lock their clothes and hand! There's still time. All right. Just have to figure out where to park the carriage. Actually, we're not parking it at all. What? Hey, what? We are going to run it right into those bastards.
give me some pretty bruises. Now it's my turn. So you're in league with the gods and humans now. You are a fool to the very core, Azazel. so much divine attention you and those damn concoctions Sword so many times in our lives. We've been through so much together. I know you better than anyone, and I can tell, Favaro. By your moves alone, you really have become a demon. I do this for you, old friend. Lieutenant Lavalley, what are you doing here? The Oleon Knights followed Sean to Avos and boarded this castle when we saw they held the key. In a few more minutes, we'll seize control of it, and that will be the end of the threat. So we're safe? That's right. You've served us well. Take a look at what's happening. Everything's going to be fine. Come on, let's get her back home. Don't trust him! He's just buying time! Time for what? Desperation is a powerful force that can make a man very strong.
take away what they're desperate for, it's the greatest pleasure in the world! Accept your defeat. I find you unfit to rule. Bow before me, and demons, hear me as well. You will etch my name into eternity. I am Lord Beelzebub. Our kind will stand above gods, but I will be the master above you all. Now witness my power. I control Bahamut itself. No, it is impossible. Directing you to Helheim, framing John Dark, and turning her into a demon. It was all part of his deception. And this was the goal. He manipulated everyone at once gods, demons, and humans alike. All so he could bring back Bahamut. <laughs> Who knew a zombie could be so smart? with the bounty and some kind of death wish and he's taken countless lives with his magic he's a bounty yes i mean that's according to the god of hangovers but it does seem to add up you used us could you two please keep it down i really can't have you ruining the mood <laughs> this has taken me a great deal of time and effort and now i want to savor the end of the world you scoundrel <laughs> Did you not hear me? Get away from him! When someone asks nicely, it's polite to oblige. But you seem determined to test the sharpness of my blade. His face is changing. Don't you understand how lucky you are to be here, you fool? This is the biggest moment this reality has ever known. <laughs> This is the world's destruction. Can't you find any knowledge that life is pointless and enjoy the beauty as it burns? Let me go! Damn. 
seems my body has become a bit unstable. Sorry for that. I think you've taken one too many of your dubious concoctions. We're both stuck in strange bodies now. So the silly man insists on playing knight for a little longer. Fine. If you refuse to sit still, then maybe I'll have your old friend keep you busy. and magic power, and used her as the vessel that would unseal Bahamut. You promised me if I did that I could bend the beast to my will. Curse you, Martinet! You lied! There, you fool. We're even. Although it hardly matters now. to settle things once and for all! Stay out of this fight! <laughs> That's the sort of entertainment I've been looking for. Got some advice for you. <sighs> when you're walking around with a bounty on your head, there are a few things you should probably watch out for. For example... Seal so Get up! Close to a knight who's still walking around with a bracelet from his old bounty hunter days. C 
Okay, Hawk. When exactly did he turn back to normal? What, can't you guess? It was when Kaiser gave me that biatch of a wake-up call. But how did that work? I managed to catch one of your antidotes that you dropped. Then I stuck it in the head of the crossbow bolt. And then Kaiser and I just put on a little show to convince that freak I was still his faithful servant. Well, I swear when we started, I didn't think I'd be lobbing off your hand. I have no regrets. It was the only way to convince that trickster. So amputation was seriously the best idea you had? Idiot. <laughs> nice work. Damn! Looks like you got thrashed. Yeah, I have the lunatic to thank for that. His reward better be downright handsome. That's an understatement. This bad boy's worth more than even you can spend in a day. If that's a dare, then I gladly accept. Although... That'll be hitting the taverns anytime soon. You think you can reach Lady Amara? Don't know. But it's up to me to find out. Does that mean you've decided what you're going to do? I'll go with you, Favaro. Are you delusional or did you forget you're down to one hand? Hey, Kaiser. I have to kill Amara. Cut it out! Now's not the time for your foolish jokes. See me laughing? How could you even say those words? She's fused with Bahamut. It was permanent. She'll be a part of him as long as she's alive. So I'm going to have to kill her. It's the only option left. There must be some other way to save her. We have to keep trying. There's not. It's too late. The dragon in the forest told me. But I swore. I swore that I'd save her no matter what it took. I can't let you kill her. I have to bring her back alive. We can't get her out, Kaiser. But I can save her in a way. Save her from suffering inside that beast for eternity. That's why I need to do this for her. Bacchus, any idea how I can get up there? We can think of one way. Right, Hamza? What? You'll carry him there yourself! No! Wait! I'm coming too! Did I change your mind? Never! I'm going to bring her back from Bahamut, no matter what you say! Be back soon! Either that or we'll be dead!
Holy Knight, it's you. Come on, don't you know it's rude to stare? Let you run off when you still haven't taken this tail off me now, could I? Ah, don't cry, that was a bad joke. Look, Amara, I came despite the odds because I care and I can't stand to see you in trouble. It's always been that way, ever since we met. You're lying. I'm not lying. And I'm sorry things didn't go better with you and your mom. You deserved more. Don't be sorry. She really did recognize me. At the very end, when I was hugging her. Seriously? It was just like you said. Well, I am a smart guy. <laughs> but listen, Amara. You got a good trip ahead of you. This time I'm taking you to a way better place than stupid Helheim. It's gonna be full of beautiful things. I can't wait for you to see. A liar. I am not lying! Look, are these the eyes of a liar? Hmm. <laughs> I don't think this is over. Hurry! Stop on so we can go! I can't! He's still down there! Kaiser, if you're going to address the troops as my lieutenant, you better come now. Today is the coronation of our new king, and we, the Royal Oleo Knights, are tasked is with lieutenant protecting Kaiser and here yet? strengthening the crown. They say that just when Bahamut was about to destroy the world, the Holy Knight of Legend showed up and banished it to some other realm or dimension or something. You think that means the monster's dead? Not a chance. Bahamut can't be killed. Not now, not ever. One day he'll come again, so let's not get too comfortable. Tell a lie. Just like me. You know which way that wind is blowing, Favaro? Toward tomorrow.